hi guys, Kirsten Openshaw here with the Openshaw Realty Group. Today we are talking with Bruce Meek on Graham Living Magazine. Um, Bruce is going to take a couple minutes to kind of go over what Graham Living Magazine is and what they do with the community of Graham. Uh, Bruce, thank you so much for joining us today. It's awesome to get to see you during quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, why don't you start out telling us a little bit about like how long has Graham Living Magazine been around and doing its thing? Um, Graham Living is actually coming up on four years. Uh, okay. So March 28th, um, a little over four years ago is when I initially started it. Um, but our first issue didn't actually come out until August. Okay. So took several months before we even had anything in production. Wow, that's awesome. So you've grown quite a bit, right? I mean, I know the magazine is fairly well known now. Um, and you've got quite a few contributors and sponsors with the magazine, but it looks like it's pretty established, right? Yeah, I, I would consider us established. I mean, like I said, we're coming up on four years. Um, a lot of the, the sponsors that came on initially signed on for three, which means we had quite a few sign on for another three. Uh, which okay. Is great. We're going to be around for a while, at least. That's awesome. That's exciting. So I know we were kind of scrolling through and just taking a look at some of your content. And the one we have on the screen right now is actually the latest issue, right? That's about to come it out. Is, it is the, uh, the latest one to come out. Okay, so perfect. Come out to sometime this week, actually. Okay, awesome. And now the kind of neat thing about this is you guys do give this to the community grant for free, right? They don't have to pay for the magazine. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's 100% free um, as long as you live in one of our neighborhoods. I want to make okay. sure I, I put that out there because <laughs> going, where can I pick it up? I get a lot of those emails and texts, calls, stuff that's funny. Still to this day. So. <laughs> okay, well, that's I guess it's good to be wanted, right? <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I know when we were scrolling through here, you had a really neat section in here called Kids Connect. Do you want to tell us a bit more about that? Because I feel like Graham's got a really great community of kids and activities and, you know, lots of sports that they support with. It is. Um, so Kids Connect is a section uh, designed for parents, actually, not necessarily kids, but for parents. Okay. Um, find the information they need for their kids to be able to do stuff. Um, okay. I know as a busy parent, um, it was really hard for me to find stuff for my kids to do things. Um, contact information always seemed to be difficult. Um, and this whole ideal came up um, by my, uh, well, she's, she just turned eight, but she was, she was four at the time. Uh, she was like, Dad, I want to be a ballerina. And I was like, that's fantastic. Let's do this. No. Uh, and then I realized that finding the information was a lot harder um, than what I previously imagined. Um, right. Then I started looking around, well, you know, is there a con consolidated list? Is there this? Is there that? And I realized we didn't really have anything like that. Now, we have some stuff like that now, like Graham Sports Authority. Um, and I've got to speak to them and they're great. So a lot of our contact information is from them. Um, and a lot of stuff is from the 4-H as well. So they're, they're both really involved in the community. Um, but if, if anyone knows of anything that we can add to this, please let me know. We're always trying to update it. Um, okay. Just provide more, more content for parents and kids like. Right. And that's a great point because, I mean, everybody's already so busy just doing the things that they're already doing in the sports and just life in general. So, yeah, it's nice to have that just right there and go, OK, that's what my kid wants to do. That's what, that's the number I call. Yeah, I love that. That's pretty neat. So basically, if anybody has any good ideas on other events to include or maybe another way to put the information out there for contact info, they can reach out. Yeah, to just you. Organizations in general is what we're looking for. OK, perfect. And I know what I like. Pretty much the main focus of this magazine is to connect the entire community, right? Correct. Yeah, everything we do in there is, is community focused, um, along with, you know, articles that we're writing about the community, uh, kind of what's happening in the community. Uh, we try to stay in tune with that as much as we possibly can. Okay. Um, you know, we, we're, we're always, we work two months out, so sometimes it's hard to get the information out there on time because we right. have to basically guess the future <laughs> you know, everything it, it lines up the way right. it's supposed we'll to have another coronavirus change there. everyone's plans <laughs> yeah exactly right. um so as far as that goes yeah okay so and i know um we call the businesses that help the magazine we call them sponsorships because in effect they are sponsoring the cost of the magazine and all the behind the scenes people right so yeah so now. without our sponsors we wouldn't be able to do this at all like, okay. um, you know, I tell people all the time, me and my team are just the, uh, the ship's crew, really, right. you know, the, 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 uh, the sponsors themselves are, are really the true heroes of this because with them providing, you know, um, uh, you know, providing the ads and things like that for us to be able to kind of make this happen. Um, yeah. they're literally helping with the print, the production, employees getting paid, like everything. Right. Um, 
So, you know, I, I hope that each one of our sponsors really pride themselves on that. And, and yeah, I'm, knows, I know most of them do. So, yeah, knows how important they are because I think from their aspect too, like if, say you had a business that wasn't in, you know, a sponsor just yet. I think if they're, you know, how businesses are going to have to weigh up pros and cons of the cost of advertising in a, in a magazine or sponsoring a magazine and, you know, where do we go? Where's our dollars best spent? I think this is such a great purpose for that because they are literally giving to the community. They are bringing something of value to the community and their, their business by default is being advertised through that. Yeah, correct. And, and we don't do anything uh, negative within the, the publication. We've never done anything negative and we never will. Uh -huh. uh, we have to focus on the positive side of everything that's going on. Like even with this going on right now, uh, yeah. your letter and stuff that we're talking about is talking about the quarantine stuff, but it's mm -hmm. talking about the positive sides of it. You know, what family activities have you done? Um, you know, what's, what's been going on as far as uh, just seeing people help. Like I've been to the store yeah. a couple times um, and, you know, just watching people help um, older generation, uh, things like that, kind of get a hold of stuff or, you know, maybe shopping for them completely. Just yeah. to be able to, like, those are real positive things that you don't you don't typically see too much on the news. And we, we no, definitely, yeah, that kind of gets sidetracked because the other stuff has the wow factor. So that's that's a really good point. Um, I'm glad you raised that so people know that. Um, one of the other things that I really liked that you had on there was that experts contributor section. Um, that basically was like people just doing articles and educational content. Is that right? Yeah, so the expert contributor section um, is it's it's for businesses that really want to show that they're they're very good at what they do for one, um, but number two, it, it it literally gives them the opportunity to educate. You know, um, you know when it comes to home health like that that covers a lot of stuff. We've had several articles from from people over at um, you know Beyond Faith and uh, just kind of explaining how some of the processes work, uh, things like that it tends to answer most questions that people might have. Uh, right. Which is good because if you're an educated person uh, and, and we've got people that are educating, you know, on their industry, like working in any, any industry, if you're in that industry, it's really hard to keep up with it working in it. So expecting someone outside of that industry to actually keep up with it too, is like, that's insanity. Yeah. It changes so much, you know, rules, regulations, yeah, procedures. Fast. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. So that's kind of neat. So I guess if you had someone, maybe even if it was a newer uh, business or entity that was in Graham, um, that wanted to really get you know educational tools out to people that would be a really good place for them to to reach out to you and be involved in right yes it's just, it's very good um you know any business that's really wanting to connect with the community contribute back to the community mm -hmm. um you know this is just a good platform um yeah. you know we're not always the right fit for everybody and that's part of the reason why we reach out and we talk and you know i have a conversation with everyone that's even thinking about being a sponsor just to make sure that we're going to be a good fit yeah. um you know, that's the, that's the first thing that we do just to find out. And uh, that's one of the things I like, you know, if I think that, you know, doing something else will help you more than doing us, then I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Um, and I think that's a big benefit because it's not just a, Hey, just let's go ahead and let's, let's just give you a sponsorship and you can put your name out there and that's fine. Like right. we actually want to make sure not only is it going to be beneficial for the community itself, it's mm -hmm. also going to be beneficial for you as a business, because like you said, you know, knowing where to put your dollars is, is not always an easy task. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, awesome. Well, uh, just in case we have some viewers watching this that maybe didn't realize exactly what Graham Living was um, and we've piqued their interest or maybe they have some ideas like with the Kids Connect and that contact information or, you know, with the expert contributors section, how is the best way for them to reach out to you? Is it social media? So we do have a Facebook page. It's a okay. Graham Living dash um, best version media. It's our partner company um, to okay. be able to pull this off. Um, you can do it through that. Uh, you can reach me on my cell phone at 940-282-0597. Um, okay. I put that in every magazine as well, so it's not like it's hidden information. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you can also reach us um, through uh, email. So okay. uh, it would be bmeek, B-M-E-E-K, at bestversionmedia.com. Okay, perfect. And we'll go ahead and put that on here as well so people can read that and screenshot it if they're on their phone and uh, – Obviously, if anybody wants to reach out and they didn't catch that, they can reach out to me and I'll point them straight over to your direction. Cool. Perfect. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate t you taking the time for a few minutes today just so we can kind of see what this is, see a little bit of behind the scenes with what's about to come out with this next edition and uh, just learn a bit more about, you know, you're not just a magazine with, you know, social stories on there. Like you are really, truly community based. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's one of our goals is to really provide 
not just content, but quality content yeah. to the residents themselves. Um, yeah. you know, this is their, this is their community. Um, and I'm from there originally anyways. So taking pride in my community is, that's a big thing to me. Yeah. I love that. And I love where you focus on like a family each time. I love that. I love seeing them on the cover every time there's a new edition. <laughs> I'm always like, do I know them? <laughs> <laughs> Well, awesome. Well, thank you so much for the time today. Uh, hopefully that kind of highlights a little bit more and people learned something with this today. And uh, maybe you'll have some new people reach out that want to help the community a little bit more in Graham. Yeah, we'd love to. The more more sponsors we get, the more content we can cover. Awesome. And that's, that's kind of the goal. Perfect. So. Well, thank you so much. And guys, be sure to uh, reach out to Bruce if you have any questions or want to get involved, okay? Yeah.